What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Moving on to another question, another popular type of question. So we have to find numbers a, b, and c so that the graph f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c has x intercepts negative 4 and 5 and a tangent with a slope of 6 when x is equal to 2. So whenever you get a question like this where you have to find constants and you're given information about the function in this unit, you're pretty much going to have to create expressions and then do substitution and elimination to solve for those variables. So we got f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So let's try to create some expressions here. So we're told that this function has x-intercepts negative 4 and 5. Well, what does that mean? Well, it means that the function is going to go through the points negative 4 and 0 and 5 and 0. And we can actually create uh, two expressions from that piece of information. So this f of x here, this is the same as like y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So notice that we can just plug in this coordinate here. So we would plug in 0 for y and then negative 4 for x. So we'd have 16a minus 4b plus c, and that is equal to 0. So that there is one expression. And then we can create another expression with the other x-intercept. So we do the same thing, 0 equals a, but instead of negative 4 now, we're going to plug in 5. So we'd have 5 squared plus b times 5 plus c. So we'd have 25a plus 5b plus c, and that's going to equal 0. So that there is a, another expression. However, notice that there's three unknowns, a, b, and c, so we're going to need three equations. We can't find them with just two equations. And notice that they give us more information, so we're told that the tangent's going to have a slope of 6 when x is equal to 2. And whenever we're dealing with the slope of a tangent, we know we're going to be dealing with the derivative of a function. So if we have f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c, well, the derivative of this is going to be what? a, b, and c are just constants, so we bring the 2 down, so we'd have 2ax plus b. Right, so we took the derivative of this. This is a constant c, so the derivative of that is just 0. So we know that this here, this derivative, is the expression for the slope of the tangent at any x value. And we're told that at an x value of 2, the slope of the tangent is 6. So we can make another expression like that. So we have 6 equals 4a plus b, like that. And that there is a third expression or equation. So we got three equations, three unknowns, and now we can solve for a, b, and c. So we got these three equations, three unknowns, how are we going to solve for them? Well, there's a bunch of different ways we can do this. One way that I was thinking is maybe we can isolate for this b here. So we'd bring the 4a over, so we'd have 6 minus 4a equals b. And then we can plug in that expression for b into both of these equations. And then we'll have two equations in terms of just a and c. Two equations, two unknowns. However, what I'm going to do is, because these c values are by themselves, I'm going to subtract these two expressions. And I'm going to do 2 minus 1. So expression 2 minus expression 1 in order to get rid of those c values. So we'd have, let's write expression 2 on the top. So 0 equals 25a plus 5b plus c. And then we got 0 equals 16a minus 4b plus c. So I'm going to subtract this expression, the first one, from the second one. So 0 minus 0 is just 0. 25a minus 16a gives us 9a. And then 5b minus negative 4b gives us 9b because that two, those two negatives would turn into a positive. c minus c is just 0. So 9a plus 9b equals 0. We can divide everything by 9. 
So we got 0 equals a plus b, and then we also got 6 equals 4a plus b. So notice how these two equations are a lot more simple to work with than if we were to isolate for the b and then sub it into those two. So what we can do here is let's bring the b over so we'd have a equals negative b. So we can sub in this negative b into this expression for the a value. So we'd have 6 equals 4 times negative b plus b. So we'd have minus 4b plus b. 6 is equal to that. So negative 4b plus b gives us negative 3b. Divide both sides by negative 3. So b is negative 2. And if b is negative 2, then we can simply find the a value by just plugging in negative 2 for b. So we'd have negative b, negative, negative 2. So we know the a value would be positive 2. And then we can simply find the c value with one of these two expressions here. So we can plug in a and b into one of these, solve for c. So I say we use the first equation. So let's do that over here. So we'd have 0 equals 16 times the a value of 2 minus 4 times the b value of negative 2 plus c. So here we have 32. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8 plus c. So 0 equals 40 plus c. Bring the 40 over. So c is equal to negative. 40. So that is the final solution. So we got a is 2, b is negative 2, c is negative 40. So the final equation is f of x equals 2x squared minus 2x minus 40. And you can actually always check your answer by taking that function and seeing if all of these characteristics are met. So will this function have x-intercepts at negative 4 and 5? Well, you could plug in negative 4 for the x values, plug in 5 for the x values, see if it equals 0. And then, does it have a tangent with a slope of 6 when x is equal to 2? Well, you could take the derivative of this, then plug in 2 for the derivative, make sure that you get 6. And in both cases, it will work out. So we know, we can be pretty confident that we got the correct equation or correct function with the correct constant.